Los Angeles. With a population of just under 4 million people, it is home to movie stars, musicians, pro athletes, tech giants, aspiring artists. Some of the wealthiest people in the world own the most lavish homes you'll ever see here. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people move to LA with hopes and dreams of making it big, and hey, some of them do, but the majority don't. The one thing we all share in common though is we get to enjoy the lifestyle that LA has become so famous for. The first thing you gotta talk about is the weather. It promotes a very outdoor active lifestyle that's not very common in Midwest and East Coast states. You wanna talk about fun? Where else can you shred waves and rip through canyons in Malibu before breakfast, followed by a snowboarding session in Lake Tahoe just after lunch, and to end your night at the craps tables in Vegas? And all in a single day. You wanna talk culture? Los Angeles County has reported residents from more than 140 different countries, speaking more than 225 different languages. LA is home to 10 vibrant neighborhoods that will let you savor different cultures right in your own backyard. The LA lifestyle is one that harnesses freedom and expression and promotes creativity and entrepreneurship. In early 2020, a worldwide pandemic swept the nation, halting that lifestyle that so many had come to enjoy. Crime was on the rise, police force was down, homeless numbers were soaring, taxes were becoming unbearable, forcing poor and middle class to relocate, and the politics even more and more corrupt. In 2020, LA County reported more than 200,000 residents leaving the city, and that number rising every month. So with all this happening, one might ask, why LA? Only word I have? opportunity. May 2nd. I'm about 91 days out from the grand opening of the new LA operation and I'm actually back in Dallas today. <clears throat> As many of you know I was accused of felling a drug patch for cocaine so my attorneys got me back here today. I was actually back here last week and I did two different hair follicle tests. Today I'm doing a polygraph test. You know extra things just to kind of help prove my innocence and prove that this was in fact a false positive patch which once we get all these in and everything comes back in my favor, you know, hopefully he can get me back off <clears throat> or get me released from probation like I should have been by now so I can get back to LA and continue working on this. So here we go. sample that the results came back today and of course they were all negative so my attorney took that and he recommended I go do another one so I went to another company today and did another hair follicle another hair follicle test the fact that there's so much controversy right now with this thing mm -hmm. being just like an allegation or like a charge and it's all over the internet now yeah. He wants to come back to the court with like enough ammunition to, to get the whole thing thrown out, but he told me to just lay low and go do my thing. Okay. Until then. Okay. What time do you get so, here tomorrow? I think Brian's will out tonight. He's supposed to get there tonight. Yeah. I fly out at uh, I think my flight's at twelve thirty. I want I want social media to stay off for a while for all of us. Just yeah. Just lay low and just kind of move in silence and. Forget about content for a while and just focus on the business until yeah. I get past all this shit. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, none of our plans change. Mm -hmm. If anything, we ramp up the back end. Mm -hmm. But 
now we focus zero on Kalinta and just on the back end. We've got is he's gonna come in. Oh, he's flying in tomorrow also I asked him the weekend. I'm gonna yeah. have Jake come over tomorrow, the new sales guy. Okay. I don't know where everybody's gonna park. So we might have to have people park like up somewhere and then we like can meet and walk with them. Actually probably just come unload some stuff there. I'm going to slowly start moving stuff out of that house. Like I said, I don't want to stay there Yeah, anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to go get stuff for you. We haven't gone yet. We can take the G-Wagon and then my Benz and go over there, and we should be able to get most of y'all's stuff, I feel like. Okay. Ugh, I'm going to do a sugar coma right now. I mean, I'm tired. Oh, where'd you have? Maybe a pint or two of ice cream. I don't know how it comes. I remember the first time I like, I remember, I remember whenever I first met you and I was like, oh, he's like so healthy. He just eats like smoked salmon and bison every day and like whatever. And then I opened your freezer and there was like 14 pints of ice cream and all of them were open. I was like, this closet fat ass. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. No, I've got okay. I've got all the inventory. I'm bringing back with me. Yeah, just bring the bins. Pick me up. We'll go over the house. I have a client there. It's one of my guys that I told you has a couple million dollars worth of stuff he wants to put in consignment. He's on Instagram, yeah. Do what? He's yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he saw it. Okay. Yeah. So when I get in, we'll just go pack stuff up, visit, plan. I mean, let's, let's prep. I don't think anything bad, bad is going to happen now that we got these first results back. Yeah. Uh, but I want to plan for worst case scenario. If, if by some chance something happens and I go to jail, I want you guys to be able to run this business about me. I talked with the investor today. The more I think about it, the amount of equity I would have to give up. <coughs> I want us to just do it on our, on our own. You know, if I take on an investor, we can do everything I want to do in three months. If I don't take an investor and we just do it on our own, we can do it in six months. Yeah. I think we should just do it in six months and play it slow. If everything's a best case scenario, mm -hmm. I think August gives us plenty of time yeah. to do it. It's just getting to that point. If I can get, we can get to that point, I'm still going to take on an investor. But once we get to that and we can hold, you know, I want to hold my pitch. Like I want to put together an investor or a pitch deck. Mm -hmm. and hold the investor pitch in the penthouse so they can really yeah not just hear about the experience they can like you know they can see it they can experience yeah it. i'll text you guys when i get to the airport and i'll send you my flight info so y'all can pick me up all right we'll see you tomorrow all right, all right. Bye. Bye. A lot going on this morning. It is. Today is the day, buddy. It is, man. All, All right, time coming. I know. So you are moving in today. You have. Okay. All right. You have two mailbox keys. Okay. Five key fobs. These all. They are all checked and ready to go. to get one. I'm going to uh, also see if we can confirm uh, which elevator is going to be uh, executive level for you so you can have your own actual access to the elevator. That's going to allow you to pretty much call your own elevator. You don't have to share it. So okay. I'd like to say this feels like crazy different, but I've done this a thousand times already. It's but it's pretty cool, now. now it's home. It'll feel really cool tomorrow when the bedroom stuff gets here. Bedroom stuff is tomorrow, this office is tomorrow, 
Can the hour office upstairs is Thursday. 90 days, 90 days to grand opening. You're on your way? Okay, we're about to pull up. Take your time, we're gonna uh, do a quick clean. We're gonna load up all the boxes out of the garage and do okay, a, then do like a Patrick little. Can, Patrick will meet us at like 12.15. All we're doing there is making sure that it's clean so we can tell Adam to give the rest of the $15,000 deposit back. Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good, all right, I'll and see you in a few. If anything needs to be cleaned, then we'll just send a steam cleaner to clean, whatever, you know what I mean? All right, see you in a minute, <laughs> bye. Okay. This is all trash, I don't know what any of this is. Not, yeah, not a, I mean, if we can get all these in yours, I think we can fit the rest in mine and Z's. Elizabeth has your number, right? Who's Elizabeth? The bookkeeper. Oh, Ellie. 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 I, I like have <laughs> never called her Elizabeth once. I was like, who the f is that? <laughs> yeah, she has I call her. I call her Elizabeth. I don't know. I'm not used to calling her Ellie yet. Yeah, that's like what she goes by. Uh, I'm not sure what time. Morgan said they were going to be here in a couple of hours. I won't be here for that, so you'll have to coordinate it. Um, all of your production stuff goes to. Mm -hmm. This room, some of these boxes have like cool Rolex displays. I guess what y'all could do is open all these up and just send me a picture and I'll tell you which room it goes in. So there's either going to be, so there's the lounge and the showroom and then the production room and shipping. So like this will all go to shipping. Okay. So that would go to shipping. Yep. So what are you doing today? Are you going to be gone all day? For most of the day, yes. Hopefully the dealership doesn't take more than a couple hours. That's it. And then we've got to go to Beverly Hills to do a watch. I got to pick up a watch and get it shipped out. As long as the dealership doesn't take more than an hour or so, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be gone that long. coming on this one for next week. The one just should break. Yeah. I got another blue Z. Yeah. He, has a, he has a Paddock 5711 Rose. Yeah. A yellow gold John Mayer Daytona and a baguette uh, platinum. A Ooh. platinum baguette Daytona. But he's going to wait for like a week. Okay. He didn't want to leave with all the 
They want to give up all of his watches at once. 5711 blue dial, please continue. I don't tell you all. And then the 41 millimeter two tone bluesy. How do these both go? Uh, same way. Pull it from the side. Right. Come on, bro. Oh, did you not turn your camera, your phone off again? Fuck. <laughs> so, I went to San Francisco actually to go see my son for his graduation. And then while I was there, I hit up two of my clients that let me know that they had stuff. Uh, they wanted to send with us on consignment, and we were actually about to have them ship it all, so I figured why not just pick it all up. I thought it was going to be two or three pieces, I was just going to carry it in my duffel bag. It ended up being like, I don't know, all in, like nine watches with box papers, everything, so. Double cup C. Oh yeah. Anyway, what I was saying was, uh, I flew back on United, and you, it was a smaller plane, like a, no, it was actually Alaska Air, so it was a much smaller plane, can't fit a big carry-on, I can only fit my duffel bag, so, and I don't want to check the boxes. So I shipped all the boxes back and got creative by wrapping all these up and stuffing them in my, duff, in my duffel bag. Got a Hulk. What year is it? 2020, old, old, old card. Yeah, the same one that we just opened. Yep. Ooh, this one. Oh yeah, platinum. Who's mm -hmm. that? Two one eight two zero six platinum. Discontinue Roman. Forty one millimeters. Suicide. There you go. Keep it right there. See it again. It says two one eight two zero six platinum date eight forty one millimeter discontinued. White gold Daytona reference one one six five zero nine blue dial. This is the little brother to the John Mayer. Let's see, and then these other ones are just like starter watches, little mm -hmm. tags. This is the first watch I ever sold, but this has a gray dial. Mine had a white dial. <clears throat> a Tag Heuer Grand Carrera caliber sixteen. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. First watch I ever sold. I bought for eight hundred dollars off Craigslist. Flipped it for thirteen hundred in two days. And that was the start of my watch career. If I had a white dial, I would buy that and just keep it as a yeah. souvenir. Oh yeah, another root beer reference. One two six seven one one CHMR. This one's a twenty twenty, I believe. Another Grand Carrera tag player. This is one of the more entry level ones. I think the price point around this is like a thousand dollars or so. I have no clue what this one <coughs> is, but it's a little two tone. What's up everybody? Uh, I want to take a quick second out of this video to answer some questions that we've gotten a lot of and it's a lot of questions and speculation as to why we need such a big penthouse. And the first thing I want to say is it's not so that we have some massive apartment to live in, it's not so that we have some over the top office to showcase our watch business because frankly we don't need any of that. There's a little bit more of a meaning behind that and I wanted to take you on a quick little mini tour to show you the place. We're not gonna do the whole thing because it's not furnished yet, stuff's still coming. Welcome to the new TPG headquarters, guys. So here we are in the great room. Uh, it's, I mean, this space is massive. This is gonna be plainly, simply decorated. It's gonna be a seating area over here, another seating, over, seating area over here, and then we're considering like a baby grand piano in the corner. The point of this being when you have cocktail parties, when we have uh, release parties, when we have get-togethers of any kind, clients wanna come over, client appreciation dinners, which we're gonna do once a month. This is where you're gonna entertain. You have a bartender set up, you've got somebody playing the piano. It's just a very nice, very elegant uh, seating for cocktail parties. Now, I wanna take you out here really quick to the patio. And actually, I'm gonna 
give you guys the, uh, an explanation of where this came to be and how it came about. If you walk over here and you actually look at the building right here, this is the level building. And if you, that and that whole top two floors is the penthouse there. For any of you guys that remember the video back um, on the Super Bowl, we were invited out to be a vendor at, this, uh, at the Athletes First organization to where we set up our, our store back in the closet. Now, I was one of 10 vendors for a three-day weekend. We paid 20 grand to set up there. I don't know what the other guys paid, but let's just assume we all paid the same. The Athletes First organization brought in 200 grand in one week, or I'm sorry, one weekend. Now let's just assume they spent 100 grand uh, on catering, on security. They still brought in 100 grand, which is a more than enough to pay the whole month's rent for that lease. As we were finishing up our event there, uh, Ellis, guy you've seen in some of my videos, invited me to come up and just check it out, like shoot some content. We got to walking around and looking at all this space, and then we were talking prices. I actually made a joke in one of my videos where I offered him 80 grand a month on a year lease to take this place. And he responded back that it wasn't that far off and that they were willing to negotiate. So we got to run in some numbers and we got to talking. And whenever I factor in what it was gonna cost me for a house for myself and for Darby and for Liz and for Brian and for everyone else, and then what it was gonna cost me for an, uh, an office in Beverly Hills and then the cost of outfitting it, and then you prorate all that into a monthly expense, we were already around 50 to 55,000. Now, at 95,000, I'm 40,000 away from covering the same amount of rent I was gonna have to cover the other way. If I can just think of a way to cover that extra amount, now I have this place, this place as my experience, as my home, as my office. So how do I do that? Well, in June, we've got two different events that are gonna be uh, held here. One's with a liquor company, they wanna do a private tasting. They're paying me $10,000 for eight hours. The other is gonna be a two-day commercial I can't say who it is, but they're gonna be shooting a commercial here and they're, they're gonna rent the space for two days. They're paying me 35,000. I've already covered that extra 40,000 plus some. I also have a couple other people I'm talking to about renting the space out you know, for three or four hours here to do headshots. One's for a realty company, one's for a tech company. Um, they just wanna do some photos and I've also got an art gallery that's potentially interested in uh, staging some art here for their, for their uh, gallery. So it's just a lot of little things. I have another idea for an influencer day where people, once the place is fully furnished, they can come out and you know, use the gym upstairs, use the movie theater, use the pool, use the kitchen. Uh, I showed you guys the great room. I'm only gonna show you three rooms in this house. The great room, this patio kitchen area, that's gonna be uh, for formal cocktail events. It's gonna open out into this. This space is pretty much gonna stay very empty. That way it can be uh, staged for the different events. I don't really feel the need to show a big empty apartment. There's actually a video on there and I'll link it in the description that breaks this place down. But come on up to what is gonna be our showroom and office. I got a video, I haven't seen this in person yet, but when I first saw this spot and we saw where the gym is gonna go and then we saw how it steps down another level to the pool and then it steps down another level to what is also another epic view, almost a 320 degree view of LA. There was a sunset there and I was like, man, this would be the perfect spot to have my own backyard, 52 stories up. So Doug with Cityscape uh, Landscape helped me find turf and they've been up here doing this all day. Wow. This is awesome. So I told Doug and he has been amazing at getting the perfect trees and plants and everything set up. But I told him the idea up here is, I want to feel like when it's done, you're in a very well manicured backyard, but you're 52 stories up. Again, if you look at the views all the way around here, we've got a fire pit right here. We're gonna do an outdoor dining right here. We'll do a four person, uh, chase lounge kind of thing with the small fire pit. So you can sit up here, have a cocktail, have a cigar, uh, have, a, have dinner, and the pool's right up here. So it's just, I don't know, it's just a really cool outdoor space that you wouldn't think you could find this high up in the middle of downtown, but come on in here. All right, so welcome to the official 
TPG sh uh, office and showroom. You walk in, you're gonna have a fully stocked wet bar with everything you can imagine. Uh, one of the cool things is whenever you go to book an appointment with us, it's gonna ask you what your favorite drink is, what's your favorite color. We're gonna customize. When you walk in, there's gonna be a nice uh, tray with your drink of choice ready for you. Name tag and your favorite color. Just little bitty accents to kind of personalize the experience. You come in, we've got a little conference table. Our bookkeeper and accounting will be right there. My desk, Liz's desk, you got great views. This is where she and I will work to bring clients. This is going to be the actual showroom. Now, obviously nothing's in here yet, but Darby, go ahead and pop up some images. Now, the images you're seeing are, uh, it's like a scaled down replica of what the Dallas store was actually supposed to be. So you walk in, you're gonna have this grand look with uh, built-in wall displays. You'll have floating cabinets that sit right out in front of it. Have two seating areas for overflow, which would be like our back-end sales guys. When they have clients, they can bring them up here, pull stuff out of the showcases, and they can do their deals right here, over here, and again, beautiful views. You can see the Hollywood Hills sign over there. I am not good with geography, so I don't know what's that way, but it's just awesome when it's clear. <laughs> so uh, more um, in-wall displays with more floating cabinets right out here. So two walls of watches, four displays, and then back here is gonna be jewelry. Now, I don't do jewelry yet, but I'm hoping that once this whole thing is designed and outfitted, I can go spend some time down in the jewelry district or just reach out to some people and partner up with a jeweler or two to fill this thing up and give, give people more options. So it's a work in progress. Uh, there's one other thing, so this is the office. I mean, this is where we're gonna spend most of our time. But the last thing I wanna show you for right now, something that's gonna be more for like my influencer stuff. We could move furniture around where some of they wanna do a yoga class up here, guess what? Personal trainer wants to rent the space out for the day, do outdoor yoga or Pilates or something. There you go. Come on up here. This lights up at night, it's warm. This is gonna be like a, kind of a cabana lounge area. This is all gonna be padded and this will be an outdoor gym. So you got the rock climbing wall right here. It's gonna have, I believe I got eight seven or eight machines along with cardio and a ton of free weight, uh, body weight stuff. So this will be a full gym. So influencers, whether it's guys, girls, wanna come out, girls, they wanna do workouts and in private without anybody bothering them, here you go. You got a badass view behind it. Guys, want to work out, shirts off, nobody judging you. Again, got a full gym. I can rent this out or have people pay for packages to come in and do it. I don't know. I'm playing with the idea, but at the end of the day, it'll be a full gym for my, the rest of my staff and myself too as well. And down there, there's like a wet sauna, dry sauna, more showers, stuff like that. So you pretty much almost never have to leave it or leave this place, so it's pretty cool. We've got day beds coming out here, and then our audio video guy has a bunch of rock speakers. So this whole place is wired up also for sound. You can control it from the iPad. You can have uh, sound in any and every room in the house. You can control the volumes. Out here, it's gonna be awesome if people wanna rent it out for a pool party or something, I don't know. I've mentioned all, renting the space out, running my business. I forgot to mention something earlier. So I've read in some of the comments when we were still doing this, you know, maybe I didn't consider the fact that I'm not gonna be allowed to run a business out of here. I'm not going to be able to allow or be allowed to have all these people out here. I don't want anybody to worry about that. Everything I'm gonna be doing here has already been discussed with the, with the building. You know, obviously we're putting these videos out there. It wouldn't really make sense for me to try to get away with something and then film it and put it on social media. So. Uh, I can say this, that the Ani building is extremely excited we're here. They've been working over the top to make sure that this place comes together the way we envision it and getting... That was close. I love helicopters and I love planes, so that's never gonna get old. Just standing up here or even sitting in the office working in the day, you see, they fly by three or four times a day. The other day we had one circle the building like six times. It's just, it's actually pretty cool. I'm waiting for one to land. It hasn't happened yet, but who knows? But anyway, what I was saying guys is that everything we plan to do with this place, every single thing I've talked about has already been approved. It's been, it's been discussed, you know, this is not the kind of place you can just go throw some 
crazy party or run a business out of and then put it all on social media and think you're gonna get away with it. So I don't want you guys to worry about that. Um, I want you guys to enjoy it. You know, we have, I plan to do fan meetups, client appreciations. If you come here and, you know, one of the ideas I have is if you as a client book an appointment, you come in person, you see the place, you shop, you buy. At the end of the month, we're gonna throw a, an appreciation party. What that's gonna look like, I don't know. Dinner, drinks, uh, get to come back, see more exclusive inventory that we don't keep here. I, I don't know, but that's going to be one of the perks of Shuff. You don't have to go all the way inside. I know. Is it the same one? It's so cool when they get close. I love that. Let's go inside, guys. Oh, by the way, this place is going to be fully furnished. It is coming in stages. If you've, bought, if you've ever bought in furniture, even before the pandemic, you know nothing ever comes right away. And most of the time, it doesn't even come when they tell you it's going to come. So we have stuff pretty much just showing up randomly every week for the next two months until this place is done. The, uh, the outfitting of the showroom, <clears throat> I actually signed the contract a couple days ago. They're going to start on that next week, and they are expecting it to be done by mid to late July, which is why we're hoping everything's done by then for an August 1st grand opening. So... Uh, I can't wait, guys. I'm excited. Um, every single time something gets added, the vision, it comes to life more and more. So I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. I'm going to get back to training with the guys. Uh, let me know what you did like. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know what kind of things you'd like to see here. Uh, and we'll take some stuff into consideration. You were working on the blue one, right? Correct. Okay. And they, so, so tell me where you're at. So, where, so I, I well, where I left off was with the panda um he asked if we could list it at 34 and i told him yeah he wanted more so i told him 33 is already at the top of the market like he told me okay um and nothing yet i didn't get a response out of that what you could do to add to it is sometimes whenever when they want more than what the market is i'll go into whatsapp and i'll find a comp okay so you type in 116500 and you just kind of scroll down till you see a picture here we go thirty-three thousand black that's yeah. a 2022. So look, I'm going to save that right there, mm -hmm. but mark out the dealer's name. So now you've got a comp to show him and just and this hasn't sold. So, so right, send sweet. him that okay. and just say, hey, look, so just to and, and say it like just to show here is a brand new 2022 right. being offered for 33,000 and it hasn't sold. Correct. His is a what? His is a scrambled cereal. Oh, it's naked? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, so 33. 30, 33 is, I mean, that's pushing. That watch, right. that watch is going to sell for 30,000. Yeah. Uh, I did follow up to everybody yesterday. Okay. And I got nothing back. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I was trying, you know, maybe uh, calling that guy with the, uh, the tech that wanted to drop it off here in person on Thursday. Yeah. And he, he didn't answer either. Here, I'll call him also. Comment. This is Anthony. I was just reaching out to talk about your Patek 5167A, if it's still available. So we'll see if he responds. Uh, anyone else? So I got that one with um, actually just texted me back. He has a Wimbledon on a Jubilee, and it's uh, March 22. He just got back to me with the Rose year. or yellow? It's stainless. Oh, it's steel? Yeah, fluid metal. Z. Cool. Uh, 126334 Wimbledon, steel. Brand new. Brand new. Jubilee. Jubilee. Well, it's you can sell for 14 14.515. So tell them we'll list it at 15. <clears throat> Did the AP Panda, is it coming? Yeah, on Friday. Okay, that's, that's the one you did for. Okay, yeah. gotcha. We got a Pepsi coming. So that one's done. We've got a consignment agreement going on right now. Yes. And I'll, I'll show Andrea how to do labels. And like I said, from now on, whenever you get all their information for uh, consignments, ask them what day they think they can ship the watch so we can create a shipping label specific for that. And then, and I'll show Andrea how to do those. So now, so what she'll do is immediately whenever she creates a consignment agreement, she automatically sends a label, uploads the tracking so we can see that it's coming. I'll also show Andrea how to go into HubSpot and add those tracking numbers. The way it'll work in a perfect world is a consignment agreement will go out, then a label will immediately go out, and then you should already have all your notes in there. Once, once she sends that stuff out, she'll go into HubSpot and she'll upload the tracking as well so you guys can see it in there. All right, uh, Jake and I are gonna go downstairs. I'll be back up here in a little bit. 
What do you think about cells so far? I love it so far. What if I gave you a different position? Okay. And oh, let's go up here. Let's go up here. For now. Um, I've been thinking about it over the weekend, okay. and I think uh, I think you're gonna be good at sales, okay. just not yet. Okay. I want to give you logistics, shipping, receiving, packing, um, intake of watches, getting stuff ready to go out. You're gonna kind of mediate stuff when it comes in. Um, it'll go to you first, so Z would come back and bring all the new stuff in, you'll open it up, it'll be under the camera, right. you'll inventory everything, and as you learn, as you get more familiar with watches, you'll start to learn them, it's gradually move you into sales, okay. if you're okay with that. So do you think I'm not ready for sales yet, or like, what's, the, what's the reason? You'll be good at it, okay. but I want you to do this first. Okay, that's fine. But I want you, you have to, the, the main thing is that you've got to have the watch knowledge, right. the watch base up, so mm -hmm. help me perfect this back end system i want you to perfect this give me three months we'll still continue to teach you sales i'll still continue to teach you watches you'll still be part of the like the sales meetings every day okay. up until the grand opening happens we're doing an hour every day minimum okay. of watch training i'm still going to give you guys assignments every night we're going to uh to work on for studying watches we are going to we're still going to focus on one brand a week we've got we did Rolex last week, we're doing AP this week, we'll do Patek next week. The worst thing you can do, the worst thing would happen that you could do is be put in a position that you're not ready for yet and then it not work out and you're just not part of the organization. Good man, how are you? All right. Hey, just um, you got a few minutes? I do. If it's good news, if not, I'm hanging up. <laughs> no, it's great news. I just wanted to get, give you an update on the case. Um, my apologies for it taking a little bit longer than it should have, and I expect it. Um, but basically, the conclusion comes out is that um, there was insufficient evidence to substantiate the allegations that the state of Texas alleged against you in the state's motion to revoke your probation. Uh, after uh, the court considering not only uh, the polygraph examination that you passed, um, as well as all negative um, tests, all negative UAPs, your analysis that you took over that period of time, um, which I think totaled maybe a total of anywhere from four to six um, from not only the probation department, but independent um, doctors, as well as um, um, the uh, department with Dallas Sentinel, the drug and the LM department. Um, so that was inconclusive, as well as the hair follicle test that you took that came back, uh, the 12 panel test that came back all negative for all uh, controlled substances, as well as alcohol. Um, in addition to that, the nail test um, that you took that came back negative as well. Um, and I think that did it. Um, it was uh, a strenuous process. Um, sad you had to do that. But as you will see, um, when you received the order that I sent you in regards to the court um, and the judge signing that order, there will be um, significant details uh, to the left bottom corner of the <clears throat> motion. You sent it to me already? I, I'm, I'm sending it to you as we speak. Okay. Um, and on those boxes, it will state where the judge checked, you are successfully discharged from community supervision um, and you are no longer um, under the, the rules and regulations of Dallas County. Holy shit. Uh, so... So I'm free. Um, momentarily, you will be receiving um, that motion. Um, and it is actually coming. I'm refreshing. Across as we speak. Um, 
It's been an absolute pleasure to represent you. And it's unfortunate that you had to go through this endeavor. But as <clears throat> always, justice will prevail. <laughs> if you take a look at your email, you should see that. I just got um, it. And all the other allegations that were alleged against you from um, anonymous sources that didn't wish to make themselves available for the state or myself. Right. As well as the derogatory information that they published about your lawyer. <laughs> uh, that was uncorroborated and not wish to give their information to the judge or to the DA so they could look into the is discharged from probation. Uh, the court concluded that all of that was without merit. Awesome. So, Damn. Uh, <clears throat> so I can take the ankle no monitor off? Further, you will hear no further information from Dallas County. And for some odd reason, if you do, you don't have to take a call or email. Awesome. Again, um, as it relates to any of the equipment that was over time been received by agency outside of, uh, you don't have to bring that stuff back to Dallas County. If you wish, you can mail it back. And okay. Any outstanding bills we can take care of later, or you cannot send it back. And if a, ba a bill is later generated, we'll address it then. All right, man. Holy shit. Okay. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much, Ed. If you need anything else from me or anywhere else to, to help clear your name with any of the people you do business with, please don't hesitate to give me a shout. I will, man. I appreciate everything. Thank All you. All right. You have a wonderful day, and, <clears throat> and good luck on in, your, your future endeavors in, in California. If you're ever out here, man, come by and check it out. Trust me, I will. <laughs> All right, Ed. Thank you All again right. so much, and All you right. have a great week. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm free. Wow. That's yeah. Awesome, dude. All right. Now. Congratulations. <sighs> what a f***ing journey, dude. <clears throat> now we can full court press. Full court press. Seven years. Seven years I've been locked down under this. Two years on, on bond with this. I was free. <clears throat> I want to say I was free three months. I got a second DUI back in 2014, was on bond, settled my case in 2015, left to Miami for six months, came back, called my third DUI. So I've been free six months and 12 years. Holy Let's f go right out Nobu. Let's go right out Nobu? No, God, no, we got no. salaries to pay first, but <laughs> let's baby step back into society. But Jesus, this is a good feeling. All right. Let's get back to work. What up, buddy? I haven't seen you in a minute. I know. Yeah, it's been a while. I know. How are you? What's up, son? What's up? You've never met Z, have you? No. Z? Matt, nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi there. George is our Matt. head of security. Matt, nice to meet you. What's up, man? What's up, Lewis? Yeah. How are you doing? Guys, I've been like, I think it was last yeah. time, right? Yeah, it was last time. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see the new shop. How's the business for y'all? Slow right now? It's okay. Like, um, I was just telling like my homie Brandon that it's like with watches, it slowed down a little bit obviously, but with jewelry, it's still like solid. What do you think is gonna happen with the market? You think it's, I know what I think. I think right now with the market, I feel like it's gonna, I think it might still go down just a little bit because there's still a lot of hesitancy mm -hmm. when it comes to buyers. You know, the past two years, it's been like a very seller's dominated market, but I think it's slowly gonna turn right. and it'll start with watches. And it'll kind of creep into like real estate as well. Right. Like people are asking like what 150, like you know, almost 10, 20 percent over their real estate asking prices. I think right now it's still going to be like that, but towards the end of the year it's going to start turning. People are going to start liquidating and they're going to start lowering their pricing. Great. Yeah. Must see the other skeleton. Yes, of course. And I have a 39 millimeter uh, stainless steel as well. Let me show you that. One. Wow. Awesome. That's a good looking too. 37, 37, and 39 in steel. How much is a 37? Rose. The 37 Rose is 180. 180? Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all, actually. And then the 39 millimeter uh, stainless steel one, that one's going for, just got that one yesterday. Let me double check. 
I used to be able to memorize all these prices, but right on time. Yeah, it's gotten to a point where like I can't do that anymore. <laughs> it's tough when you don't just have one case anymore, right? <laughs> yeah. I, so when I met you, I only had one suitcase. Right. <laughs> and now it's like kind of like slowly creeped into like going from like one display to now like two displays, and just it's pretty insane. Keep going bigger. <laughs> Uh, this one's 170, by the way. 170, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, what's the specs on this? I may know somebody for this one. 2014. That one is mint. Box paper is name. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I might know somebody for this one. <clears throat> how's the uh, how's the penthouse? It's still, believe it or not, it's still surreal. Yeah. Like waking up in there and like. Yeah. yeah. Like now we've got a, we've got some of the office stuff up there, like nice. a couple desks and a conference table in the in what's going to be the showroom and lounge. Yeah. And so it's just kind of like it's badass, but it's still kind of surreal that yeah, of this is going to be our office one. Correct. Right? Like yeah. Our yeah. actual or it is our office, but it's going to be like where we do business, business everything. once yeah. everything's there. It's going to take a couple months for all the furniture to start trickling in. It'll start trickling in the next two weeks, and then there's like a piece here, a piece here, a yeah, piece yeah. here, a piece here. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only seen pictures of it and everything too, so it's just like... They don't do it justice. Like, Even me living there, like, I'm still just like... I'm like, walking, <laughs> you're just like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is possibly one of the best looking... The reason why I like that one a little bit better than the third 9mm is, is the, the white. The whiteness yeah. of the... Versus like, for example, you see like a, a, a 40 mm oh, And it has the gold spine. bridge. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you have? Perpetual calendar. That one is. I just sold it this morning. Oh, it's still sold. Just sold this morning. I'm supposed to wait for the wire. On. Sold for two fifty. The Tahitian Mother of Pearl. Yes. Daytona. Oh, and the white gold meteorite. I don't need. You don't have to pull that out one. But what? What are you asking on that? That one's sixty. Sorry. These things have gone crazy. Yes, that's the old asking. Right, by yeah, the way. asking prices on these things are like starting at eighty thousand on Chrono. On, on these right there. Yeah, but I can't see somebody paying more than what would you say sixty five? So you're right. I can't see. I maximum I would pay for that watch is like a seventy. But that's old buckle. Yeah. yeah. I mean they're great, but I just somebody called me wanting wanted me to buy one for like ninety thousand. I was like, man. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, <laughs> even if I wanted to buy it, I don't, I don't see an end user paying that kind of money for yeah, it yet. I agree. That one is sixty-seven, by the way. Sixty-seven, okay. Mm -hmm. Sixty-seven, like ninety-three, on the Tisha Mother Pro. Ninety-three. Mm -hmm. That one I can see a little bit more value yep. because of the MOP and the factory stones. Yes, exactly, exactly. So it's, it's not the regular Mother Pro. It's gonna have that that like purple, little dark like black yeah. shade of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, I, I feel like that looks a lot better. Man, you see the uh, the rose sun dust baguette. This watch, man, <sighs> super super clean. Dude, I, this is a watch. Of everything that I see in here, this is the one. How much is this one right now? That one is eighty four. Still undervalued. It's not, it's still not still un, it's it's still undervalued. I I still think at eighty four this is a this is probably one of the best buys in here because of the factory baguette diamonds. So 116505 rose gold baguette dial. And then the sun dust. Yeah, and then the sun dust one looks super, That's super, new, super right? Yes, this is That's the new dial. brand new one. Okay. This is brand new. This is dated, uh, yeah. I think, April 2022. Out of these two, I would definitely pick the newer one. Yeah. Just because I like how oh, it's... Oh, you'd pick the newer I'd one? I'd pick the newer one. Yeah. The reason why is because it looks... I go, oh, it's different. But you, you know what's the, the difference of premium? How much is that one? So the 84, no. this is 94. That's 84. I'm oh, sorry, 84. Sorry, I, I wasn't trying $10,000 $10, difference because yeah. of the dial color. Yep. The diamonds get lost on that one mm -hmm. to me. A little bit. They yeah. pop on this one better. Yep. What else you got that's cool? So, in the showcase, it looks like the anniversary. Yeah. Oh, nice. 50th anniversary, yep. 2022. What's the stupid price on this yeah, one? I say, don't, it, it's up for negotiation, but you ready for this? 300? <laughs> yes. Up, 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 up. What? Yep. Yeah. But is it higher than the yellow gold? Yes. This is a blue one, right? No. This is a green. It's oh, green. it's green? See, the problem with this, like, <laughs> it's just like the yellow gold one. Well, yes. the yellow gold one shows a little bit better. Dude, I've looked at this watch twice now, I thought it was black. Yeah. That's why I was like, ah, <laughs> I know what that watch is. Yeah, and you kind of like skipped I thought it was the thing. discontinued 26420, or I forget mm -hmm. the reference. 26320. Yeah. Here it is. 460,000. 
I don't want to be the person to go on camera and say you are going to lose money if you buy that at 460, but however, you are going to lose money if you yes. buy that at 460. Consigner, Consigner did say, oh, if you, it's up for negotiation. Right. Though. So I was like, okay, as long as you're up for negotiation, just I don't think we can sell for 460. Realistic price, right. 300 something. I think realistic price, yeah, it's around 300. What are they all of? What are the all of the white gold set now? So I have four of them. Uh, 2022 is at 66. 2021 is at 64.5, and then 2020 is at 64. And I have two uh, 2021s. So let's see your Sundust uh, Sky. Sundust Sky. Yeah. And then what's the specs on the Saru? 2019 sticker. This is back to the roots of where I, like when I started, <clears throat> when yeah. I first started, because I'm not buying right now until any of, until my uh, LA operation is completely done and funded. Yeah. I'm paying for it all myself right now. So everything I have is going towards that. I'm only doing consignment. But when I first started in the business, I didn't have any money to, to buy stuff. Yeah. So I'd go visit all the jewelers that I'd met, all the watch dealers, and I would just post their stuff. And then yeah. when people would hit me up, hey, how much on this, how much yep. on this, how much? I do it right now with a couple guys in Beverly Hills. I yeah. sell some of their stuff. And I've sold four or five pieces, yeah. make an extra 20, 30 grand yeah. for stuff I didn't have to put any money into. It's the best. It's the best like business model that you can think of. You know what I mean? If you it's don't very have, risk free. Exactly. And it, and it opens you up to, well, the best thing is that you don't have to put any money into it. You're meeting new dealers. You're building a relationship. Okay. If you can sell, if I can sell your pieces, well, we already have a relationship. But if we didn't, and I come in here, I take a picture of this, and I sell it, we build rapport. I right. do it for a couple other pieces. I'm selling stuff. Mm -hmm. You're making money. I'm making money for pieces I wouldn't normally have. It's a win-win. Yeah, I've structured, especially when it comes to watches, um, like a, it's very heavily on consignment pieces. And the only thing that I kind of like very honed in on, especially, was just a very, very good and high insurance policy. I, ha I asked them for a ten million dollar memo, uh, so I, I ten done. million dollar memo, uh, like insurance policy. So in the case that shit hits the fan, and some or like three assault rifles coming or whatever, maybe like it's raw You know what I mean? Right. right now, it just in this alone, it's about six point five. So I feel comfortable, yeah. and I wouldn't even exceed ten million. I would actually deny consignment pieces after around eight nine. Right. You know what I mean? Just for my like peace of mind. You know. Let's see the forty five hundred. The Vosh room. I really like this piece. However, I, I'm so sorry, but I, I am absolutely disgusted with the bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> the bracelet is really needs some work on. <laughs> they need like. They need some. I don't like. I, I don't like that the when you get to the dial right here, the bezel's high polished and yeah. the dial pops so well. Yeah. And then the bracelet's just dull. It's just dull. Even just the shape of it. It's and a little. I'm it is very, a little very, different. I'm very very much a fan of Vashon, by the way. One of my grill watches is the. Uh, Take a guess. See if you can guess what it is. Of all the Vosh rooms out there. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be the, the big bank, so I'm assuming the perpetual skeleton as well. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, there the, you go. the rose gold, you, yeah, you yeah. nailed it. <laughs> the rose gold perpetual skeleton by Vacheron is. This is it on my wrist. Oh my gosh. On my wrist, and I was like, dude, this is amazing. See, the problem is I want that watch, but I also want the black ceramic skeleton. Yeah. You can wow. even see like the constellation yeah. on it, and it was just like, Oh my god, this is so sick. Dude, and in person, that's, I mean, that watch is, yeah. I would choose that over a skeleton. Yeah, a week is yeah, two more weeks. I want to come see it when it's done. Yeah, it's like this light gray color, so. It's what? Like a light grayish type of color. It's kind of, oh, matches the seats, basically. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, you should come through, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a grand opening. I'll watch, I'll watch your story, so I'll see whenever. I don't yeah. know, I'll, I'll see you whenever it's open, but yeah, dude, come check out the pen house sometime. Yeah, for sure. Hey, right. hey thanks for Thank having you. us, man. I'll let you know if uh, any bites. Yes. Cool. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Y'all ready? Thanks, man. Oh. What's up, man? How are you? How are you, bro? Good. Good, good. I'm Matt. I sent you, uh, I sent you a text for the James Cameron. It was a couple days ago. Selling one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was out here coming to see Matt. Oh, said, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. What's that? You still need it? I still need it, okay. yeah. Need Unless it. he's buying it. Nah. I don't oh. think so. I'll talk to him. Yeah, if, yeah, he's, but, if he's not uh, buying, I'll take it. Yeah. I need one, yeah. Well, we'll see the guys. What are you being, looking at? Is, he, is, it, is it brand new here? Brand new. Yeah, it's brand How new. much? I need to be at 16. Um, 16? That's what oh, I'm yeah. trying to be. Yeah. 16, I think 16.5. 16.5, yeah. 16.5, I um, do. I'll talk to my guy because pretty much I partnered in to get that piece. Oh, okay. So it's kind of hard for me to just call the shop myself. Yeah. But he texted me this morning. He said, you know what, let's do it. I said, it's Anthony from Type Gentleman. Okay. He said, oh, well, if you can get it, let me know. I still need it. So. Okay. Cool. Cool, man. All right, All right, bro. Hey. It's good to see you. It's All good right, to meet you, by the way. You too, man. I hope you're enjoying LA.
Dude, I love LA. Yeah? yeah. It's sick, I huh? love LA. Compared it's to just like the lifestyle is so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, you can work and you can sleep and you can work out and do all that stuff anywhere else, but outside of that, what's the lifestyle like? And that's here true. it's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I've been to Dallas once. Yeah. But... Dallas is good for, you know, corporate life, yeah. family, and I've, it's been my home for 34 years, but okay. it's ready for a change. That's cool, man. And you got a six spot, too. Yeah. You have to <laughs> you come, can't come. Hey, if yeah. you sell me the watch, you get to come see it. Yeah. Cool. All right, my man. Thank you. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Thank you. see you guys. All of my excitement for this watch finally getting here, out the window because of these. Make sure there's nothing in there that we need. I really love this watch, it's just too big for me. So brand new 26420, rose gold, black dial, black ceramic bezel, offshore, 44 millimeters. It's got see-through open case back. So 44 millimeter, I'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. Absolutely love this watch. It's just, I can't get into the offshore sizes. Market on this piece though now, crazy. Three months ago was 85,000. Now they're about 70. So 70,000 brand new, that's a great, great value for a, for an offshore right now. So we're gonna go deliver this to my new client. All right, so guys, uh, I'm gonna deliver the AP Royal Oak Offshore you guys just saw. The same clients also interested in my white gold, purple frosted AP Chrono. Uh, he has requested not to be on camera though, so I may or may not film while we're there. If so, I'll film the deal, but he's not gonna be on camera, so. Not sold yet. It's gonna think about it, which I get it. It's hesitant market. It's a high six-figure piece. I think my ask on it right now is 310,000. So he's uh, actually going to Vegas and gonna gonna gamble a little bit, have a good time with his wife. Hopefully they have a good weekend. So when he comes back, he'll be impulsively ready to buy. So we'll know on Monday. We'll follow back up with him. Today, we are doing something that entrepreneurs, business owners, whatever you want to call it, seldomly do, and it actually takes some time off to play. We get so caught up in work and the grind and like there's always something going wrong or there's always something that has to be done that we forget to actually take time and enjoy it. So today, Z and Brian and myself and George are going to head out to Manhattan Beach. We're going to go meet Darby and Liz at their house. We don't really have a plan. We're going to, I don't know, maybe walk out to the pier, go on a bike ride. Uh, hit the beach, take today to decompress, relax, enjoy it, kind of reset and get ready for next week. We've got a lot of training, a lot of consignment stuff coming in, and a lot of uh, things happening. So today we're gonna enjoy ourselves and just have some fun. Come on. Something that's seems like a fantasy, but it may require some love and desire. It's something to cover me. There's never a guarantee that loving is so easy. Some may define it as sugar and brown, but why just a star? minutes out, 13 minutes out, 45 seconds out, whatever you tell me. Where y'all want to go? I mean, right down, right down to Hermosa. Go to Hermosa, get some food, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I know what's happening.
Is that an avocado? Yeah. <laughs> it's an avocado. <laughs> it's a pregnant avocado. See? Like, it's like holding its belly. Oh. That's cute. Yeah. He, pick, he picked it. I was He's like, exactly you don't want like this one it. or this one? He's like, no, I like this one. <laughs> this is exactly what I expected. The guy looking, I don't even know what I was trying to say. <laughs> How long has it been since you've ridden a bike? Since I've ridden a bike? Why? Didn't you say it's been a while? Yeah. How long? Don't embarrass this. It's like, ah, it's weeks. been a while, dude. I don't know why. <laughs> What's the point? There's not a, it's not a trick question. I was just asking how long it's been since you've written. <laughs> I was just making conversation all the time. Awkwardly <laughs> trying to find a playlist. <laughs> I'm in shock right now. I, like, I don't even know. Oh. oh my god. Where is he? Listen, listen. It's fine. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. For the company to grow, then for me to get a watch. I want to give you. You know, I want to give you something. I really do. This is. Can I do it right now? Can I get the box? You can keep the box. It's only 200 bucks. The box. Just don't open it. Hey, hey. We love having you here, and I trust that you're for the brand. Just trust me when I say. If you put your faith in us, I'll put my faith in you. And that, that will happen. 20%. Yes. My life is in it. I'm in it. Like, I'm not going anywhere. So I trust you guys. And I trust the brand. And I trust that I'm going to get a Rolex. I'm going to hold on to this, to this letter. <laughs> As proof. You should, but you can cash that in whenever you want. Anytime you want. Oh shit, okay. Anytime. Anytime you want. Any, anytime you want. <laughs> what should be another note? Like, we serious, we're very serious about this watch. <laughs> That's hard, bro. Oh, oh my god. Bro. <coughs> oh my <laughs> shit. Dude. Dude, that man. looks so good. You from right here? Dude. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet, bro. Thank you, bro. Unexpected. Now we can get a reach. Unexpected. Unexpected.